Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on real quick and show you guys how I took these beds apart in my last video. My handy camera work was not that great and you guys really couldn't see what I was doing. So basically these are just the dollhouse pieces from the Dollar Tree and I took them apart. Now what I did was I took I guess I could have showed you what they were, but I'll link the video down below so you can take a look at what I did with them. Um, basically, I just took, so if you see the beds, one side is obviously the headboard, the other side is the footboard, and one's taller than the other. So what I did was I took off one short end off of one piece and one long end off of the other piece. And then I glued the short ends together and the long ends together. So I'm going to show you what I did. So basically all you do is you take your pieces. I'm going to go over here. Hopefully you can still hear me. And you throw them in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Let's do it. You just kind of do it in a few like 10 second intervals. And that's usually what I do. They will be hot when you take them out. So be careful. And... You may have to put it back in and I'll show you yet. Yeah, it's not not quite cooked yet. So you just put it in there to kind of soften up the glue. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see if that was good enough. And then basically, once you warm them up, you can take them apart. So this piece is really hot because it's big. Um, you just kind of have to play with it a little bit. And this one might need a little bit more time in there. Yeah, this one needs a little more time. And you have to be quick with it because the glue gets hard again. So you just put it back in there for another 10 seconds, five seconds, depending on your microwave. You could use a heat gun, but that, uh, I don't know that I would trust that personally. Um, ooh, that's hot. Okay. Let's see. This one's a little bit harder. Get a towel. Because it's hot. There we go. So it just comes up. This one had a lot of glue on it, that's why. So just comes apart there. And then you can take the cover off of it if you want to again now that it's hot you'll be able to kind of unglue it but it's gonna tear up and stuff so you know I'm not gonna do it because I don't mind this I would just cover over it rather than putting a whole new piece on there because that's gonna be too much trouble so then basically you have some wood pieces that you can do different things with I also wanted to show you that you can do the same thing with like the little dressers. So I'm going to do the same thing. There's a few more pieces to this one. And there's something that I want to do with this one. That's why I'm just showing you with this piece. So here we go. And again, you're just going to do the same thing. This one, like I said, has a bit more pieces. So it may take a little bit longer and again it's hot so here we go just take that off and just keep taking pieces off <laughs> basically this one's and this one was kind of messed up anyway like it was put together kind of funky so I don't mind taking it apart and I might have to put it in there again to kind of warm it up again because it's not coming apart yeah, it needs to be warmed up again. And you just have to kind of keep doing it until you get it all apart. Oh, it's hot. I'll hold it with this. Just sometimes that little top layer will come off. And that's okay. Go. Pieces all <laughs> come apart. 
This one kind of broke a little bit and it's not a big deal. It's just one layer and you can just peel it all off anyway. So, and it'll look just fine. So you get another piece there and you break off the other little pieces. And then you'll just have to clean all that off. Yeah, see? So, no big deal. Then you got this cute little piece of, oops, that you can do other stuff with. Then you've got smaller pieces that you can use for, st for stuff. I might have to re-warm it up again to get these other pieces off. Just trying to do it so you can see me. And I don't have my uh, tripod, so I'm using my daughter's. And it doesn't fold down like mine does, so you can see like the counter or whatever. But, yeah, I think I'm going to have to warm it up again. And it's just what you have to do. Just keep kind of going and going and going. Excuse the, the disaster. This is what my kitchen always looks like. So I'm not going to pretend like, you know, my kitchen is always in order. There's a lot of us in this house and my kitchen is never, it's not dirty. It's just always messy because there's so much going on. Stay right there. What did I just say? So there's the front panel. Ah. And oh, that came off quicker. And just keep tearing it apart. See? Top. So now you have a bunch of wood pieces that you can either, you know, this way it's easier to paint and sand down and stuff. Then if you want to take these little, the little handles off, then you just take some needle nose pliers and pull them out. And that's it. Comes right out. No problem. And you know, you're, you may have to heat them up a few times, like I said. So, you know, you can do that. And so... They're coming right out, no problem. Now this is just so you can sand it down, kind of clean it, make it look how you want to, you know, how you want it to look. If you want to replace the little handles, then you have, you know, you can cover this up with some wood putty or some, um, what's that stuff? The putty from the Dollar Tree. Fill the holes up, let it dry, sand it down, and then you have like a, ouch, I just think I got my splitter. Then you can smooth it out. Um, what I'm thinking of is I might cut these out because I kind of want to make some actual drawers. So we'll see if I'm able to do that. I don't know yet, but we'll see. So now, like I said, now you have all these wood piece pieces <laughs> that you can cut up and use for other stuff. Or if you want to just clean this one up, paint it while it's apart and then glue it all back together the way that you want it then you can do that you know now you have then you'll have like a nice smooth you know smooth pieces that you can put together properly because like I said this one was kind of put together a little janky it had a lot of gaps in it so this way you can sand it down paint it make it look how you want it to look and then put it back together and it'll be how you want it so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I broke it apart because like I said, there's a lot of noise in the background. My kids are... I had very noisy kids in the background. Okay, so yeah, so now you have all this, like I said, then you can sand it down, paint it, stain it, and that way you can get stain on all the parts. So once you uh, sand this glue down, then you won't have those parts that, you know, when you stain it, don't get into the wood and look funny. So sand it down, stain it, then glue it back together and it'll look so much better that way. Um, and or you can put it back together differently. Make keep dropping them, make them into something else. Totally up to you. You can combine pieces from the two, you know, from all the different ones. Like I have the smaller dresser. You can use them for so many different things. I want to try and make a couch out of these because they're nice and thick. So yeah, 
you just use them for whatever you want to use them for that is all I have for you today very quick very simple like I said people were asking me how I did it since they couldn't see me doing it and I just wanted to show you real quick so that's it for today guys until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye